Well, hello, Sagittarius. Beautiful rising, good afternoon, and or lovely evening to you wherever you are, depending on the location of your rotation. Mm -hmm. Thank you for stopping by my channel. This is your weekly energy check-in, and this is for Sagittarius Sun, Moon, Rising, and Jupiter signs. So, welcome back, Saggy, to another of your readings. Uh, let's get into uh, your energy, shall we? So, let's get your tarot card for the week, Sagittarius. What is your tarot card for the week? So, all of my readings are intended to be timeless, meaning whenever you have found this video is when you are meant to hear the message. So, use your intuition, Saggy, to tune into what your message, what the message is for you. All right, what is your recent past energy, Saggy? What is your recent past energy? There it is. And what is your present energy, Sagittarius? There it is. And what is your future energy, Saggy? What is Sagittarius' future energy? There you go. All right. And last but not least, let's get an affirmation for each of your past, present, and future energy. So what is your past affirmation? So I do use these chakra energy cards on a daily basis. Um, because I do a daily chakra energy check-in. So, yeah, if you are interested, check out the daily readings as well. Okay, and there is the future. Perfect. All right, Saggy, let's do this. So, your tarot card for this week is the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups, Faggy. The universe is watching you and you are finding great things. Like, <sighs> yeah, the universe is watching. So the things that you are working on, like you have three cups upright and I feel like this guy has just revealed the rose beneath this cup. So I feel like you are, there's going to be something revealed to you perhaps this week that is beautiful, something that you aren't expecting, something that, you know, maybe you have tried it, tried something similar before and it did not work out, but, you know, in this last effort you find yourself doing or whatever, and it could be just with anything. Um, you're finding a nice, beautiful surprise with it. So, and this is because the universe is watching you. The universe has always been watching you. Is always watching all of us. So, beautiful, Saggy. So, whatever it is that you are finding, it's beautiful. And it is meant for you because it was put there for you. So, ooh, I love it. I love it so much. Your recent past energy is a grand symphony. Oh, this card, I don't know why it gave me like chills. It just came up so beautiful. Um, yeah, like a grand symphony. So I'm going to read out of the book and read the key concepts for this card. Um, well, I'm going to do it for each of the cards. So you know, right there, the key concepts. So... For a grand symphony, the key concepts are inclusivity, being part of the whole, removing bias, seeing the interconnectedness of all, knowing that everything you do has a consequence, unity consciousness, the end of division. So, <sighs> I feel within you, um, Sagittarius, in the recent past, you have stepped into the energy of unity consciousness. You have... Realize that you have a part to play in this great big symphony. You are a part of a whole. You are part of something grand, something great, something much, much bigger than all of us put together. 
and it's amazing it is it's been an amazing feeling um yes you have your own instrument to play in this um beautiful you know this wonderful life that we are experiencing here on this plane and uh, yeah and it's about accepting accepting yourself loving yourself seeing yourself as that beautiful part of the symphony oh, i love it your affirmation for your recent past energy is from the secondary chakra yang and it says i happily receive the life creating forces of the sun i happily receive the life creating forces of the sun so yeah this is um, tuning into your masculine energy as well. So this grand symphony in your recent past, um, what you are realizing is we all have a, a balance. We all have to seek balance within ourselves and the unity within, the unity that we want to experience in the outside world has to happen within us as well and so I feel that you in your recent past have been learning how to balance yourself um, and learning how to play the symphony within yourself balancing both your masculine and feminine energies balancing your thoughts balancing your um, yeah, like just like the light and the dark within yourself so that it plays a beautiful song instead of, you know, being too much one way or the other. It's just a beautiful song. And so I feel in your recent past energy, that is what you have been tuning into and honing more is the unity within yourself, learning how to sing the beautiful song yourself so that you can be part of the bigger whole. Wow, and that's amazing. So, in your present energy, uh, we have Wish Upon a Star. Wish Upon a Star, and I think this card is just so cute. So cute. Um, and I think it was Aries that got, well, they got Healing the Heart, which is kind of, the same energy of like the hands crossing the heart but yeah so the key concepts for this wish upon a star is intentions based on your desires and aspirations the act of consciously committing to a vision sacrificing something of value gambling on yourself trusting that dreams can become reality the importance of daydreams and so what I'm feeling with this is that you are, so as I, you know, with the past energy of your grand symphony and you learning how to tune into that energy and balance that energy within yourself, you find yourself presently now, you know, consciously committing to that which is the bigger picture that you are part of. So whatever that is for you because each one is different you are finding yourself stepping into the commitment of it and taking it seriously holding it close to your heart believing in it loving it and you know setting the intention so that it can manifest so oh I love it I love this energy your affirmation is no affirmation this this energy is helping with your secondary chakras nutrition responsibility and that is yeah this is the I mean it's interesting that it comes up with the nutrition responsibility because it is you know when we're partying when partying <laughs> when we are part of a symphony we have to have response we're responsible for whatever um, instrument it is that we play and that one instrument is our full responsibility so I feel like you know once you have found yourself established in your own unity 
you are now wishing upon a star and tuning into the energy of what it is that you are responsible for. What is it that you want to grow and create within your own life? What is it that you are cultivating? And, you know, you're tuning into that and you are allowing yourself to be fed, so to speak, um, you know, by that intention. So, you know, if you are wanting to start a business, depending on whatever type of business it is that you're starting, maybe you are now allowing yourself to tune in more to or read more business journals or um, find out more information on what it is that you would have to do. What kind of business are you going to start? Is it going to be an LLC or are you just going to be a sole proprietor? How are you going to ro run your business? All of this is coming right now into the physical world for you at this present time. And so you are tuning into the energy of what it is that you have to do in order to have your wish to come true. So, ah, wow, that's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Ooh, and you are stepping into, in your future energy, a higher view, a higher excuse me, a higher view. And the key concepts are seeing from a higher perspective, conscious neutrality, letting go of judgment and assumptions, non-attachment, the ability to remain unbiased. So in your future energy, you are stepping into a whole new perspective, a whole new perspective, not only on life, but just the world in general. And you know, you are growing and expanding into this newer, shinier, prettier, um, more loving version of yourself. And you are seeing things from a higher perspective. And when we see, start to see things from a higher perspective, we change the way that we react to things or go about um, handling different situations and so I feel that this is also kind of a level a new level of maturity for you that you are you know like it's like you're just you're poised you know like you are in this new higher I was thinking like well I heard like higher position but yeah and it could be a higher position like maybe you you know get a raise or you get um yeah, like promoted to whatever, you know, something that you are looking forward to or something that you wanted. Um, but I'm feeling like with this is a lot of growth and expansion that you are stepping into Sagittarius. And I love it. Love it. So, wow. And so your affirmation is from the secondary chakra's knees. Because of my curiosity, I learn easily and quickly. Because of my curiosity, I learn easily and quickly. So this new higher view has allowed you to learn more. And um, you are learning a lot faster in this future energy with this higher view. Because once you have opened yourself up and now are expanded, you are you know, but just more open to receive the information that is coming in to you. And, you know, you're open to learn more. And when we are open to learn, we learn things, yeah, faster and easier. So I feel that this is what you are going to find yourself stepping into is just a higher view that expands your knowledge and your growth and your learning. So that's, super amazing and beautiful. Ah, wow. Wow, Saji. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, like there's just some, there's something that is hidden that you will find where you least expect it. So that is beautiful, beautiful energy. So Sagittarius, I hope that you found something in this reading that resonate with that resonates with you and if you did then please remember to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you are not already ah i love you so very much i appreciate you and i will see you all in your next one